Hello, may I help you? Yes, I was wondering if my dad's checked in. Mr. Martin Andrews. Oh, you must be Todd. I have a message for you. Well, he'll be here, Moni. He said some urgent business came up, but he's going to fly down, meet the ship in Puerto Vallarta, and he'll be with you on the trip back. Oh, but don't worry about being alone. We'll do everything we can to make it a fun cruise for you. <laughs> Who's worried? I've traveled all over the world alone. I went to China last year. China? Wow, I'd love to hear about that. Okay, if I find the spare time. But it looks like I'll be real busy. <laughs> See ya. Bye. He's cute, isn't he? Yeah, too bad you're not a few years older. Hey, yeah, thanks for the great idea. Hi. Vicky Subing, remember? We were gonna discuss China. Oh, yeah. You look different. I was wearing a uniform before. It makes me look like a kid. So why do you wear it? It's a regulation. And since my father's a captain, and since jobs are getting kind of scarce for a 17-year-old girl... And your father's the captain. That must be a drag, having him around watching you all the time. It's no problem. I get to do whatever I want. Yeah? Well, then let's find some comfortable chairs, and I'll tell you all about China. No, I like to sit down and watch once in a while. It's a great way to pick up the new steps. Mm. I suppose living on a cruise ship, life is just one party after another. <laughs> That's right, it's a terrible drag. A party every night, a new man in my life every week. <laughs> Don't I wish. <laughs> not all playtime, huh? No. In fact, it's not very often that I get to meet someone like Todd. You know, my own age. <laughs> he seems like a nice kid. Kid, he's 18, and he's traveled all over the world. So he says. Endlessly. <laughs> Great party. Yeah. Well, you must be excited. You're going to meet your dad tomorrow morning in Puerto Vallarta. Oh, uh, didn't I tell you? His secretary called again. Said he couldn't make it. Maybe we could do something ashore. Right. But that's tomorrow. We got all night first to party. I'm afraid I don't. I have to be at work early in the morning when we dock. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that's okay. No problem. Then I'll see you tomorrow? Right. Sure. Well, Todd said he'd have some free time since he's not meeting his dad. Um, but that's not a real definite date, is it? Well, not exactly, but who else would he go with? Please, Andrea, come with me. We had all the big spots. My father got me all kinds of credit cards. Well, all right. Great. Uh, Vicky, I tell you what, I'll see if I can get some time off. We'll grab a cab, and you and I will see the town. He's taking Andrea. Yeah, but like you said, it wasn't a real definite date. Hey, Vicki, it happens to the best of us. Well, it's not going to happen to me again. What are you going to do? I'm going to go and get that sexy dress, because tonight I'm really going to be 17. Vicki! Well, that Puerto Vallarta was kind of dull. It sure was. You know, I like winter resorts better. More action. Did I tell you we also have a condo up at Sun Valley? Several times. <laughs> Vicky isn't too happy with me. She thinks I'm hassling her too much about a curfew. But you are letting her try her hand at being 17. <sighs> it's not easy, Adam. I guess you gotta love your children enough to allow them to make their own mistakes. I changed my mind. I don't think I want anything. Hey, wait a minute. Todd, why don't you just stick with Vicky? She's really a nice girl. And more your style. You think I move only in the slow lane. Well, you got me all wrong. And you're wrong about Vicky, too. She really didn't go back to her cabin last night. We had a late date after the dance, and it was a wild one. But she knows every dark corner in this ship. We're gonna have another swing in time tonight. All night. 
That's simply not true, Merrill. I saw Vicky last night going to a cabin all by herself. Are you sure about that? I'm sure. The boy's just faking it, trying to make like a swinger. Is that true? That is true. That's a good party, but uh, we could have even a better one down in my cabin. Your cabin? Remember? My dad's not here. It's empty. Okay? I guess so. Come on. Oh, darn, I lost track of the time. It's 10.30. That's my curfew. Curfew? Well, I'm very sorry, but my dad's very strict. Well, good night. I thought you said you didn't have any rules. Todd, I guess I should tell you. I haven't been honest. I'm not almost 17. Unless you want to count three years as almost. Hey, Vicky. And all that stuff I told you about my dad letting me make my own rules? Well, that wasn't true either. I've just been playing games. I'm sorry. You're better off with someone like Andrea. Maybe I'll see you around. Good night. Hi, Dad. Hi. Oh, dance over so early? No, but I found out how handy a curfew can be. Vicky, could I talk to you for a minute? Well, sure. Uh, Dad, you remember Todd Andrews? How are you, Todd? Fine, sir. Vicky, I want to apologize to you. I've been playing games myself, pretending to be a big operator. You'll excuse me. I'd like you to hear this too, sir. I pulled a real bummer. To impress Andrea, I made up some wild stories about you and me. No kidding, wild stories. I'd feel awful if they got around. Well, I didn't hear any. Did you, Dad? Hmm. Don't know. No, not a whisper. Well, anyway, I apologize. I am a nerd. <laughs> to be honest, an almost 17-year-old nerd. Maybe next time I come aboard, we can start all over as friends. I'd like that. And your 10.30 curfew is fine by me. 10.30? Didn't I? Oh, we could have a few more dances if you could stretch it just this once. All right. We'll make it 11. 30. Thanks, Dad. You must have a good influence on this character, Vicky. He hasn't told a single whopper about one of his big deals all morning. I'm trying. Keep this up and you might even get to heaven. Oh, I'm planning on it. We have a condo there. Uh, <laughs> bye now. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. So long, Vicky. I will be seeing you again. Oh, sure, I'm glad you didn't hear those wild stories I told about you. <laughs>